Hello, Times Cryptic, let's go. Plum to throw at the bottom of copper. No. Canine say is barking regardless. State the words of a coward. Wow, nope. All hooch nearly drunk. Here's more. This is alcohol. Nearly indicates almost all the letters of hooch, so all but the last. And then drunk is an anagram indicator of H O C and all. And alcohol is more, more hooch. Chilling mostly after injury. That's good to hear. Victor ignores second flower. No. Scorned AA invention twice by the road ultimately. Wow, tricky one today. Parent and child clipped plain rubbish. Rubbish could be an anagram indicator for clipped plain. Except that's too many letters. Here, no, st no sound from stable. Yes, this is nay. Here is a homophone indicator. So N-A-Y is another word for no. And that sounds like nay, which is the noise a horse makes and horses live in stables. Is a father able to briefly vote for national celebration? I think this is Canada Day. Is a father able? Well, the is and able strongly indicate the word can. So is a father able? Can a da or da da briefly vote? Gosh, why is why briefly vote or why is day briefly vote? I don't know. I'll come back to that, but I'm fairly confident that the answer's correct. Chilling mostly after injury. That's good to hear. Yeah, well, I think... Chilling is on ice and mostly indicates without its last letter. After injury, after harm, and then a harmonic is something that's good or pleasant to hear. Victor ignores second, flower or flower. Second could be S or mo. Or its second letter. So this is Campion. Victor is champion. Ignores the second. Well, the second letter of champion is H. And if we ignore if we ignore that, we're left with Campion, which is a flower. Parent and child, clipped plain, rubbish. So parent is ma or mum or mom. The definition is going to be rubbish. Clipped plain. Wow, not getting that. Now, surely two H's and a D must be helpful. Scorned is poo-pooed. AA interve intervention twice by the road ultimately. Well, the road ultimately could be the last letters of ro of the and road, which are E and D. So why is poo, P-W-O-H, an A-A invention? Ah, oh, well, I think A.A. A. Milne wrote the Winnie the Pooh stories. So this is a misleading clue. 
in the sense that one's made to think that AA stands for Alcoholics Anonymous, but in fact it stands for AA Milne. Now, what is this? Ah, yes, surely mumbo jumbo. So parent is mum, child clipped is boy without its last letter. Plane is jumbo, as in jumbo jet, and then mumbo jumbo is rubbish. Hiked and had something to eat. Skipping starter. This is upped. Upped means to hike, as in to increase prices. And had something to eat is supped. Skipping starter without its initial letter. Fruit from gloomy northern town you might gather. Well, I think this has to end berry. And you might gather is a homophone indicator for the northern town of berry, which is spelt B-U-R-Y. So we're looking for a four-letter word meaning gloomy. Although the you might gather, the homophone indicator might apply to gloomy as well. Well, I think this is blue. If you're blue, you're depressed or gloomy. And a blueberry is a fruit. Official opinion of the conga, perhaps. Yeah, this is party line. A party line is an official opinion. And the conga is a dance which, in which you form a line and you generally do that at parties. So it, a conga could be described as a party line. Instrument seen during family reunion. This is lyre. A lyre is a musical instrument. And seen during is a hidden indicator. And in the middle of family reunion, starting with the L, we can read lyre. Hidden clues by convention are restricted to one per times puzzle. Greet cuckoo and another bird. This is egret. Cuckoo is an anagram indicator for greet. And an egret is a bird. A trial to net billions if everything goes perfectly. This is at best. So A is A. Trial is test to net or include billions, B, the abbreviation, and at best means if everything goes perfectly. Muscle problem, hit hard when standing up. Gosh, not getting that. Maybe hotter place in Africa. I'm wondering if this is Tangier. Could tangy mean hot? Well, let me see if I can get corroboration. Worried about small vessels. Well, U-boats are vessels. And this little dash indicates that it's, well, we can see after the, at the end of the clue that it's one and five. So worried about small I'm not seeing how the word play works. Ah, worried is an anagram indicator for about, giving U-boat, and then small is S, the clothing abbreviation, and U-boats are vessels. That corroborates the T, so let me put in Tangier. So, maybe hotter, well, if tangy means hot, as in spicy, then... Tangier could be hotter, and Tangier is a place in Africa. Muscle problem. Well, a knot is a muscle problem. Hit hard is tonk when standing up, when reversed. Small creature in wine, drunk by queen, possibly. No. I understand that you may bring home... This philosopher. Yeah, this is Roger Bacon. So, I understand is Roger, which is what airplane pilots say to each other to show that they understand a message. You may bring home this, well, as an expression, bringing home the bacon. 
and then Roger Bacon is or must be a philosopher. Become large and emit a threatening noise. This is growl. So to become large is to grow. Large is L, the clothing abbreviation, and growl is to emit a threatening noise. Gifted man secures a fast time. I think this is talented. So talented means gifted. Man is Ted, the man's name. Secures a fast, a, or secures a a fast time secures A and then Lent. Lent is a time for fasting. Small creature in wine, drunk by queen possibly. So the definition is small creature, but what is it? We've got a lot of letters in, in the answer, but I'm not getting it. In the middle of a very entertaining... New Songs Finale. I think this is amongst. So amongst means in the middle of. A very entertaining New Songs Finale. Yeah, A is A, very is most, most pleased, very pleased, entertaining or including new N, the abbreviation, and then songs finale is G. Slightly tricky disentangling the wordplay because you do have an anagram of song in the middle, but that's a coincidence. Gosh, not going to get anything more, any further letters in 19 down. Small creature, well, a beastie is a small creature. In wine, asti is a wine. Drunk by queen, possibly, where well, you get queen bees. I have the same women's clothing on and a flower. Yeah, this is Snapdragon. So, I have the same is Snap. Women's clothing on. Well, I think I have the same women's clothing is snap drag and then on is on and a snapdragon is a flower. I think women's clothing is drag because when men dress up as women, they are in drag. Initially, banana skin repelled sensor. This is bleep. So initially banana indicates the initial letter of banana and then Skin repelled is peel reversed and to bleep is to censor. Internet whiz nearly cut off. Well, this looks like it begins cyber and I think it does. So I think off is an anagram indicator for nearby cut. So if we take out cyber from that we're left with u t a n which gives cybernaut which is or must be an internet whiz fantastic just the top left to go screen finally put between hot drink and letters for protection this is chain mail so screen finally is the final letter of screen Put between hot drink, which is either cha or chai, and letters. Mail is letters, as in in the post. So, yes, it's N screen finally, which is N in between chai and mail, gives chain mail, which is a type of protection. Iron bar sent north over area that covers Indiana. Iron is, well, iron is Fe, the chemical symbol. 
bar sent north is rod reversed over area over A, the abbreviation for A, that covers Indiana. Ah, this is a reference to Indiana Jones and he wore a fedora hat in the movies. Now, I haven't looked, I don't think, at the top across clues, but let me pause here and do my quick typo check before I get too excited at finishing the puzzle. All the acrosses look fine. Down's looking good. Yeah, I'm... Ah, must come back to Canada Day. I didn't explain that. 15 minutes down. Be inconsistent with indignant cry interrupting informal greeting. Informal greeting could be high, but why be inconsistent? Don't know. Confirm a northeastern shipping route. So, a shipping route is often described as a lane, in particular, a sea lane. So, confirm is seal, A is A, northeastern is NE, the abbreviation, and a sea lane is a shipping route. Contribute 100, doubly cool. Wow, 100 could be C. Yeah, and it is. So this is chip in. To chip in is to contribute. 100 is C in Roman numerals. Doubly cool, well, both hip and in mean cool. State. The words of a coward. Wow, what is this? Yeah, this is Iran. I was thinking about states of America, but it's states as in the sense of countries. So Iran is a state and the words of a coward could be Iran. Plum. To throw at the bottom of copper. Well, copper is Cu, the chemical symbol. Cushy means plum. And to throw is to shy. So shy at the bottom of Cu gives cushy, which means plum. Canine say is barking regardless. So I think barking is an anagram indicator. We're looking for nine letters, and there are nine letters in canine say. So is barking is the anagram indicator. We're looking for a, a phrase meaning regardless. And I think in any case, or in any case does mean regardless. Is it the right letters? Yes, it is. Fantastic. So one clue to go. Be inconsistent is to yo-yo with indignant cry, oi, interrupting informal greeting, yo. Okay, fantastic. So, every clue solved, not every clue explained. Let me come back to Canada Day, 18 minutes down. Is a father able to, briefly, vote for, yes, Oh, wow. So I thought of da and dada for father, but it's actually dad. So is a father able is can a dad? And then to briefly vote for, well, to vote a vote for is A-Y-E. Yeah. Is a father able to is can a dad? Briefly vote for is A-Y-E without its final letter, which gives A-Y, and then Canada Day is a national celebration. So every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray, no errors. Fantastic. Wow, what a super puzzle. Absolutely fantastic stuff, extremely slow start, but then... The top right started to go in and then it just followed around the board and we around the grid and we ended up in the top left, which with the letters that we had was able to be completed. So 
super fun. I think the snitch for that probably in the 60s or 70s. Now, last week I spoke a little bit about plain cryptic puzzles and the Times is an example of a plain cryptic puzzle and it's the hardest daily puzzle in the world but I pointed out last week that there are harder ones published less frequently than daily, the Mephisto, the AZ and the Monthly Club special. But crypt plain cryptics are just one half of the world of cryptic crosswords and I thought I'd just mention the other half which are novelty, thematic or variety puzzles and those aren't three different types of puzzle they're all different words for the same for the same type of puzzle so really anything which isn't plain is in this second category and this second second category is really starts off as a plain cryptic crossword but then you're given additional instructions and it's those additional instructions set out in the preamble which means that it's no longer a plain puzzle and one example of this would be from the Atlantic in 1977 and this is a fairly straightforward example where there are a few answers which don't have clues and they have something in common and you have to work out what those answers are based on the, the crossing letters that are available. So that's at the easier end of a non-plane puzzle and then at the more complicated end here is an example from 2021 a listener puzzle and the listener is comes out every week and these puzzles are monstrously hard and super super challenging and as you can see in this instance one had to cut up cut, cut out shapes from the grid and then color in what was left so a tremendous challenge and every week the the challenge is different and really anything goes uh, in terms of what you may be required to do however anything that you are required to do has to be clearly set out in the preamble which is the little bit of blurb underneath the crossword and I personally solve the times every day and the listener every week and that's my quota of crosswording that I can fit in with my other interests of Scrabble so do check out these non-plain puzzles if they are of interest to you anyway back to today's puzzle super fun I hope you enjoyed watching that solve like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time mm -hmm.